Welcome back to Hero of the Floaty Isles, where we got the gift to sing last episode. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit off, it's early in the morning. Anyway, we got a bunch of record discs now, and I decided to keep the um, glass paints here to keep track of what we have. So let me rearrange that real quick. So we've got 4, 5, 9, 11, 12, and 13. And I spoke to the bug boy, apparently there's 32. So we need to find a bunch more, and we have two already. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking we we'll leave this here and we drop it when we need to because I think we need two more to unlock this the gift guard which is probably a shield anyway you're probably wondering what's next I was wondering the same too until the map maker commented in my last video and suggested that we go and visit the fortune teller so let's go into the between and go to the Glenfolk village now I'll find the fortune teller and get back to you real quick Found the fortune teller. He's literally off the side of the village. Uh, let's go in and talk to the fortune teller. I see a long abandoned fortress beneath miles of stone. What does that mean? Abandoned fortress beneath miles of... Is that it? It sure looks like a fortress. I mean, can I... Oh, you know what? No parent hope here. If you remember a few episodes ago. We weren't allowed to go in there because they closed the gate out of spite. However, I got jumpy pants. Boop. <laughs> there, see, though that gate doesn't matter. All right, cool. So now we have access to this place. And why is there a lantern here? Secret. Please be a uh, chest. Oh, someone's house. Gubu's house. Set my spawn. Talk to the man. There's a wooden button hidden outside somewhere nearby which opens the door to my backyard. I forgot where I put it. Wooden button outside? It's probably down there. Oh, I fell down. I mean, I did set my spawn, so I guess we could try. Oh, look at that. I was saying, I guess we could try coming here to search for the wooden button. Although, I don't see it. Nope, I don't see it, and I'm dying. Fun. Instead, I'm going to take your flower and get out of here. <laughs> wow, that looks cool. Is that all granite and copper? That's actually a good gradient. Dwarf City, no Parentopia. Oh, so this is Dwarf City, and that's not Parentopia. This looks like a bunch of kids. Yellow blueprints. Talk to the mayor. There's Dwarf. I mean, Dwarf City looks cooler, though. And this looks super tiny. Okay, let's just run through this real quick and get back to Dwarf City. Talk to the orphan. Okay, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm not reading in an accent. <laughs> Only if I had a place to live, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, why don't these guys abandon their parents and just live in, a, in plots? <laughs> I want to open my own shop with the pharmaceutical variety. There you go, you got an accent on me. Happy now? So these guys want blueprints, right? Okay, so if you ever find blueprints, so to speak, we'll put them in here. Who's this fancy dude? Hello, mate. I've opened up this air museum, but I ain't got me exhibits yet. If you help me find these four artifacts, artifacts, I'll give you <laughs> this rare book, blah, blah, blah. If you found some in, show it to me straight away. Oh, okay, so we gotta find like a brilliant crystal shard, ancient sun city seed. I don't know where I got city from that sign. Raddy's Glenfern Enigmatic Dwarf Core. So we're going to the Dwarf City, so we might find the Enigmatic Dwarf Core. These, this must be from the jungle. This must be from the hot biome right nearby the Dwarf City. And the purple one from the end. Okay. Oh, looks like we got a little person down there. Oh, there's a cave. Yo, is there a honeycomb nearby? I would love there's a honeycomb nearby. Okay, this is the shield often. So we got the jump boost, right? But we need speed to actually park her on top of those to get there. And I'm pretty sure the shard they're talking about is in there. So we'll see what this is about. For now though, let's explore this. I'm excited. Dwarf City. Okay, so this is another entrance into the Dwarf City. Fitting that we go underground. Nice banner. We could go up the way or we could go underground. Residential district. I'm worried about the creatures waking up again in the deep underground. I thought they were all made dormant, but something has changed in the world. Stealing your flower. <laughs> Set my spawn. Okay, let's talk 
I'm gonna talk to all these villagers and see if we can find anything. Oh my god, they have netherite just laying down there? Let's give me some. Okay, it seems that they found malicious things down there. So they decided to build upwards. Hmm. Oh, half heart. Yeah, I think we missed a few houses here, right? Nah, so there's two more. Don't you know? Don't try to sign me no religion. I'm not listening. La 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 la. You and me both, buddy. Funny how the insides of the aisles are bigger than the outsides. I hear hollow stone keeps... I hear hollow stone keep is miles on the ground, but doesn't seem like the land goes really that deep from up top. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so there's not much to do here except go back on top. <coughs> Apparently just south of Dwarf City, away from the more populated sections, someone has hidden four chests with each with a piece of fine chainmail armor. Ooh, we should go find that. South of the Dwarf City, okay. <laughs> what? I squirted some yogurt into a chicken egg and it started growing into something new. Uh, that sounds disgusting. I can't, oh my god. Homunculus? Why are you here? Bring me your name, please. What the heck? <laughs> Moving on quickly from that. Hmm, okay. I'll let you guys read these if you wanna. I'm just gonna... Too much to talk to and... <laughs> Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. I like to eat a rock. But that's the residential district of the Dwarf City. Um, What's next? Okay, we can go that way. Go on this way. So we're in the city right now. Executive travel. Fancy, smancy. <laughs> Let's go see the president and see what the president's going to say. Oop. Oh, I see gold blocks where you guys sit on, huh? <coughs> Thanks. Thank the stones you've come. Our defense against... The creatures of the deep, hollow stone keep, has fallen to the shadow. This curse could prove to be the doom of the entire city. Please restore our keep to us. What's happened in my upcoming re-election campaign? But as much as I care about your re-election campaign, do you have good stuff for me? That's all I care about. Oh, I'm gonna see the flower. Good. Let's go see the dwarf executive's office. Oh, wooden button. Is that is that what they're talking about? Oh, it's a sign. Dwarf president. Mm-hmm. Oh, these dwarfs are into politics, huh? This is the president's son hiding from his dad. Interesting. So we just had to speak to him. Not really much there. <gasps> beacon time. Beacon time. Beacon time. Ooh. I love beacon time. Because this means we can fast travel here. Oh, man. Whoa. Okay. If that isn't thumbnail material, I don't know what is. Oh, so. Someone living there? Uh, we'll get to that. Let's see what this is. Dwarf site historical blah blah blah. Combat arena. So this must be where the armor is hidden. What does this do? Gotta figure that out still. Really gotta figure that out. <gasps> it's a magical biome. <laughs> Sounds good. Da, 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 da. Yo. Hidden stuff? Question mark? Aha. You all think I didn't see that? Hmm? Y'all think I didn't see that, really? Moon. Oh my god, are we on the moon? I thought this was Dwarf City. This is like a different place. Okay, this is one of the most magical things in Minecraft. Just walking on Amethyst. It almost instantly makes you feel like a princess. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, hello. What is this? That's just a... Uh, is that a dungeon? I really can't enter it. I don't... I don't know. I guess we'll leave it for now. What does this place look like with shadows? Ah, uh, too bright. Alright, let's see what this is about. Moz... Moz meow study. Talk to the man. What is all this? Is papers lying around, man? You insane. You don't have a bed. Moon portal, moon portal, moon. <laughs> okay, I see. So this is like a Easter egg, I'm assuming. And once we learn how to crawl into like a one block space, which probably happens when you get wings, I'm assuming. We can uh, go to that moon portal, so it's like a custom dungeon. Look, those are the one whole spaces I was talking about. There's another one. Actually, you guys fine with seeing all my deaths? <laughs> I think they're just keeping track of it at this point. <gasps> you think I didn't see that? I saw that a mile away. I was just playing for half a second to see if you noticed, you know, keep you on your toes. Y'all are getting too old, right? I'm up here going left, right, like lightning and stuff. Trodomir's Western Watchtower. 
It's not great, but oh, I was gonna say, do you have stuff for me? And he indeed does. Sweet. The gate to the magma kingdom isn't really locked. The switch to open it is hard enough to. It's just hard enough to push down that only a dwarf of fire golem could open it. What the heck is a fire golem? So a switch, he says. Hmm. Oh, look, it's another one of those holes that I can't get through. Yeah, there have been efforts to kill the hand of the Empyrean, but not really any wholehearted ones anymore. We're pretty sure it can only be killed from the inside. We drill a small hole into the back, but we haven't been... We haven't been able to get further in. Don't worry about it. It's probably not a big deal. Well. The hand of the Empyrean breached the surface of the stone a few hundred years ago. It's been dormant ever since, but definitely still alive. If it wakes up again, it would probably destroy the entire city, if not the rest of the isles. This is the Empyrean. Which seems like a gigantic creature that could probably destroy the entire isle of the map. And the only way to get in, according to these dwarves is through this dwarf hole that's unfortunate for us because we're like three times the size of a dwarf <laughs> so help me out here game what do i do <gasps> so, oh my god someone should make a montage of me just dying <laughs> it's mostly fall damage okay before we go See why we just died. Hollow Stone Keep Commercial District. Let's go to this place. It's this Dwarf City Historical Site. Okay, it's the same place, but I just need something to open it. Uh, it's easy to open close gates. Just stand on the golden button and let your heavy, heavy weight press it down. What are these guys talking about? I'm not as heavy as these guys think I am. It's a me, Burger Key. <laughs> <laughs> it's little Mario. Hmm. Let's lead somewhere deeper. This leads to God knows where. Dumden? <coughs> oh, you have two flowers. Thank you, sir. Those are mine now. I uh, love me some flowers. It's like uh, that one Miley Cyrus song. I love me some flowers. That's what it is. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. I'm I'm a gatekeeper of Hollowstone Keep. If you want me to let you enter, you must prove yourself as a true dwarf. Answer my question correctly, and I will overlook your suspicious height and let you in. The first question is, what is the emblem of the Dwarf City National Banner? Is it A, a, a cross and a wheel? B, a stone fox? C, a hammer and the moon? It's your flower. I took it. Both of it. Now, if I remember correctly, it is... look like a, a circular thing. So, what's circular here? Not a fox. Maybe the moon? Didn't see any hammers. So, it should be A. I said I'll spawn just in case we die. Oh, okay. Which draft is growing a homunculus? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, homunculus. Aha, the yogurt guy. Grod Gromlin. <coughs> so, C. Okay, what political party is the dwarf president? Oh no. Uh, Mr. President. So, they barely beat the little prettiness party. So, they're not that. I don't know if they're anti impedian or subterraneanist. Aha, look here. I'm questioning the numbers. Looks like the anti impedianist party has no chance of beating us anytime in the next several years. So they are the subterraneanist party. So it's B. The fourth question is which nation's diplomat is least welcome in Dwarf City? Oh god. I'm gonna assume it's no parent of here. Hmm. This is, I was guessing right now. Oh, okay. How's the dwarf st stock market looking? Stock market? Oh, jeez. I better check that out. We'll get back to that. But first, what's this place? Hollowstone Keep Entrance. Oh, he's going to open it once we figure it out. Okay. Okay, let's go find the stock market, I guess. 
All right, I found the diplomat's office. Uh, bug boy. Um, okay, dry skull desert people. Mm. Gilman, okay. Human. All right. Yo, there's more. <laughs> they hit the children. No, no. Fire golem. Hello. We like the dwarves. We bring them gifts of gratitude. Yo, I want to go check these people out. They look sick. Nitro, what the heck is you? Yep, that's about right. Martian. Yo. That's like a... Is, I think that's part of the Easter egg. To go to the moon, right? Steal that. Steal that. Steal that. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> uh, okay, to enter this building, we gotta go up. Okay, well, before we go to, uh, I think... This one or that one is a diplomat's building. The two buildings left. I want to talk to this guy. Something funny down the hall. I feel like I'm going to die. Right? So, me being an immortal being in this world, I can die a bunch of times. But I don't think the other characters in the lore are immortal. So that guy just kills a bunch of people. <laughs> Look at that. Where are the Dwarf City Exchange? Let's climb up the ladder first. Trading floor. So this is how you go there. Okay, before we go to the Dwarf City Exchange, I just want to see what this one building is about. Because I think the Dwarf City Exchange is probably the final building. And that one. So let's visit these and then we'll go to that, that place. Ah, I see. Residential district. Okay, we've been there. Let's just jump in. Talk to the Dwarf. <coughs> Zamco Softworks. Stock is tanking. Okay. It's looking up. Okay. Egg. <laughs> egg. I like the word egg. Um, I just did some fraud. <clears throat> what? Damage. The curses on the land are done. What are, what are these guys trading anyway? In GOH? And now I'm rich. So they say the stock market is looking up. But I have no clue as to what they're trading. Isn't that like a commercial district somewhere? I could visit? Was it that hole? It, yeah, it probably is, right? Commercial district. Okay, let's see if we can get some free stuff. It's a sheep farmer. <coughs> Messy without any sheep and food. It's good food, though. <gasps> we got mutton. Mutton's way better than food in any of these. Mm? This is a cake guy? Feel free to taste any of my cakes. <gasps> Yum. Oh, wait. You said just don't eat them all. What if I do? Just take some damage. Eat some cake. Take some damage. Eat some cake. <gasps> Take some damage. A lot of damage, in fact. Eat some cake. Okay, I managed to get through almost all the cake. I just need to do this one more time. And I ate all the cake. Let's see what he says. <laughs> I told you not to eat all my cakes. Why did you do that? <laughs> okay, he's just upset. <laughs> it's funny though. It's funny. Shield workshop. Okay, he's just gonna put a banner on it. I see. And this leads to a cave. Take that. Yeah. A baby got eaten by a dingo, so I adopted a child. Why are all the children British? <laughs> He's having a racial identity crisis. Hmm. Something up there. Okay, that's the... Oh, chest. Oh, please be. Please be chain my llama. Oh, heck yeah, man. Look at us. We look so fancy. Alright, so... Does this mean we're heavy? Or do we have to find, like, more? Let's test it out. Nah, we need to find more. Okay. What is this guy's question again? Uh, okay, about the stock market. I would say it's looking up. Sixth question. One dwarf child is adopted. Another child. What race is a child? It's, the, it's definitely a human. How many towers in the dwarf city are burning red fire? I've not seen a single one, so I'm going to say zero. The final question. Look at that. What's the best serious way of killing the hand of the Imperium? From the inside. Oh my god, I did it correctly? I, I'm pretty sure I guessed two of them. 
I provided a way to open the key. Please be careful, it's been overrun by denizens of the carnivorous deep. Of the cavernous deep. Yeah, but that's the way. Hit the button. Yo. What does. Okay, we got a dungeon open. And that's where we're gonna end today's episode. I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.